has been said. of terror drifts on a bitter wind. The people pray for strength and guidance. They should pray for the mercy of a swift death. For I have seen what the darkness hides. everybody so this is a hero emerges this is our uh, first Diablo 3 panel for BlizzCon and like I said Demon Hunter we're gonna show you a lot of awesome stuff that we've done with the classes this year a lot of new information uh, my as I said my name is Jay Wilson I'm the game director on Diablo 3 um, I have a bunch of great guys here with me um, to my left uh, Christian Leigner who's our art director on Diablo 3 uh, Paul Bird Warzeka who is uh, our lead character artist Leonard Baryarski, lead world designer. Yeah, give it up for Leonard. Uh, Wyatt Chang, technical game designer. Kevin Martins, lead content designer. And Julian Love, our lead technical artist. All right, so today we introduced our fifth and final class for Diablo 3, and that is the Demon Hunter. So we're going to talk a lot about the Demon Hunter today, how we came to this decision, and where, what she's really all about. So the first question might be, why the Demon Hunter? Why did we choose this class? So the first one's kind of obvious. I, a couple of you, I, like maybe one or two, guessed that we might put a class that ha shoots bows and crossbows and throws things. Like, it was a good guess, those one or two of you that actually got it. So um, really the Demon Hunter fills out our archetypes. So we knew from the beginning that we wanted, you know, a blasty wizard type and a big barbarian and a, a uh, you know, pet class. And we knew we wanted a class that really used conventional ranged weaponry. So she was really one of the earliest classes that we chose, but she was very different when we first chose to make her. So we really felt this character fit the Diablo universe. We wanted a very dark character, a, a, an, a, an almost obsessed anti-hero. And this clicker doesn't like to click. Uh, we really liked the idea of a, like a bounty hunter. That was, that was a really a lot of the drive for what we wanted. We wanted a character that felt like this is somebody who really hunts down the enemy. So um, some aspects of, you know, whenever we decide to make a class, we always kind of like to boil it down to like the top three things. What's this class all about? So the first one's pretty obvious. We knew we wanted a, a, what we call a conventional ranged class, which is a class that operates at range but uses kind of weaponry to do that. So we also liked the idea of this bounty hunter vibe, so we wanted to get in this idea of like gadgets and traps, and basically a bounty hunter prepares for the fight, so we wanted to really focus on that with this character. Um, and we always look for a way to do um, 
more fantastical step with a character. We, you know, the, char the Diablo 3 uh, classes are very showy at times. So here we have shadow magic. Shadow magic is really kicking into the idea for the demon hunter that she really likes to dabble in anything she can to make her more effective at hunting down the enemy. So she's not adverse to, you know, using dark magic or, uh, you know, hey, if I, I found out if you uh, take the spleen of this demon and carve it down into a, a bow, it actually gives the, the arrows actually go like 20% faster. So she knows kind of every trick. She knows more about demons than anyone in the Diablo universe. All right, my name is Christian Leitner. I'm the art director on Diablo 3, and I'm going to go through a very brief history uh, for the development of the actual uh, Demon Hunter. Um, what I want to show you guys is how uh, things usually start out. We knew early on it's going to be a ranger, obviously, um, and oh, this clicker is there. You go. And uh, from the get-go, we actually uh, decided that this was going to be. Uh, a ranger from the uh, very early on that we knew that we wanted to have a ranger class and um, obviously a uh, class design and development takes a lot of time and effort on the development team and we really take a lot of care in making sure that this is as much fun to play and as much fun uh, for uh, you guys to enjoy now what happened here is we early on started with early concepts and uh, what you can see here is a woodland ranger concept and uh, that already looked pretty ranged, obviously. Um, you can see the uh, arrows in the back. And uh, that was a good starting point. We really liked that stuff. And what we said to ourselves, well, we also want to make sure that it's still red a little bit on the swifter side and also a little bit more deadly, so to speak. So we add a little bit more uh, of an edge to the character. But that still wasn't quite where we wanted the character to be. And uh, while we already liked it a lot, and we really thought there were some really great, great concepts going on with it already, um, there's something missing. We didn't quite know what we needed to add to it. What we started to do is we started to add elements to them to give it a little bit of a twist. Um, most of the uh, Diablo classes we do, we always give it a little bit of a twist, a little bit of an angle, a little bit of a little extra something. Uh, in this case, what we started doing is we started adding a certain melee aspects. We had short daggers, short swords, even fist weapons. And you can see some armor on the chest there. And as we iterated on this, we even uh, added a little bit more of that. Uh, we had cowls and uh, a lot of different elements like that. And as you can see, a lot of our products take a lot of development. Um, one of the things that what we started to realize as we went through all these concepts was that it really didn't start to read ranged anymore. It started reading more and more like an assassin. It started reading a little bit like a uh, melee class. And so really, at that point, we sort of said to ourselves, you know what, we need to take a break. We sort of need to slow down, rethink what we're doing. And what we did is we sort of uh, decided to look a little bit more at more concepts and really sort of go back to the basics and sort of rethink from the get-go what we wanted to do with this class. Uh, there's a few questions we asked ourselves at this point. Uh, one of them was that we had announced the monk class uh, the previous year, and we said to ourselves, you know what, we really wanted to make a class now that was a little bit on the darker side, the one that you didn't quite know where they stood with uh, uh, in the world and what their outlook was and everything. Um, we also knew that we wanted to make the class a little bit more mysterious so that you didn't quite know the history about the character. Um, the other thing that was really, really important to us was that we're huge fans of Diablo 2, obviously, and we really want to make sure that we had a class in our lineup that was a little bit more on the medieval side, a little bit more gothic, uh, and really harken back and pay tribute to the Diablo 2 uh, classes. Uh, of course, most importantly, we want to make sure that it red ranged. So, what do we do? We came up with a demon hunter, and that's what you're seeing today. So, how do you make a demon hunter? First off, we started with uh, the craziest thing we could think of. And we said, well, what if it was a demonic demon hunter? What if it's a demon hunting demons? And as you can see, here's a concept of a fully blown demon. And we really liked this concept. We thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, it only had two problems with it. One of them was that in the Diablo universe, uh, our heroes really have to be human. Uh, this really, they're pitted against the uh, hordes of hell. And having a hero that's demonic uh, would be probably a problem. Um, also, there was a problem in terms of maybe designing gameplay around the changeling or change shape-shifting class. So we went back and said to ourselves, well, what if you just make him part demon? 
And uh, in this particular case, you see uh, the concept with uh, a very large de uh, demon hunter uh, concept design that has a demonic arm. Uh, one of the uh, issues we had at that point was we were worried about the fact that maybe, well, if this guy walks into town and he's trying to sell his wares or try to buy something, uh, maybe the townspeople wouldn't quite uh, go along with it seeing the demon arm. And uh, also the size and the bulkiness of them at this point felt very strong and, and we weren't sure if it would really feel ranged or fast and swift and agile as we were uh, hoping for. Um, and of course the arm implies melee because it's so thick and strong. Now, we changed all those things at that point. We said, you know what, let's go a little sleeker, a little bit more agile. Uh, we decided to go with a design that only had armor up until the rib cage, and then below the uh, rib cage is very light and leathery. Uh, we also decided to go with uh, uh, dual crossbows because we thought that would really be cool. Um, we were still holding on to the demon arm. We thought we maybe could pull it off. Um, but what we started finding is as people were playing it, they really, really, really um, uh, wanted to hit things with the demon arm. They felt like uh, it, it's just something you really want to use. So at some point we sort of had to say goodbye to it. And again, it also uh, messed with the human part. So last but not least, what we ended up with was this design, and it's very close to the previous one. And as you can see, it had a cowl. It's a little bit more on the dark side and a little bit mysterious. It still reads very fast and swift. And of course, we also want to make sure it had a dark vibe to it, that it really read very, very uh, 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 anti-hero-ish in, in, in that sense. And uh, also a little bit of that medieval vibe that we're talking about. And of course, most importantly, that it read ranged. And I'm going to pass this on to Paul, and he'll show you how it was done in 3D. Thanks. All right, so. I'm Paul Warska. I'm the uh, character lead on Diablo 3. And I'm going to pick up where Christian just left off there and walk you guys through the modeling, texturing, and the animation of the Demon Hunter. So right off the bat, we had this concept. And at this point, we're like, OK, this character, she hits the mark. Yeah, there's like two guys that got that joke there. Um, <laughs> Uh, so we had this character, and she was kind of a sexy character. Uh, I know Christian didn't get into that very much, but at this point we had some characters like the, the monk. You have this holy monk, you've got this kind of creepy witch doctor. Um, you have the barbarian female, if you're into that sort of thing. Awesome. Um, but we wanted somebody who's physically attractive um, and 